So probably the single most important concept in probability theory is that of a random variable. In this introductory lecture, we'll have a look at the definition of a random variable. It will be a somewhat simplified definition aiming at capturing the basic idea behind the random variable. So we start with the following. We have an experiment. We have a sample space S, meaning that the experiment will lead to one of the points in the sample space being selected. As a concrete example, suppose that my sample space is just a collection of A, B, and C. So performing the experiment will lead to one of these possible outcome being selected. Let's consider all possible events that we can create from this sample space. Then these events are the entire S, the empty set, the collection of only A, the collection of only B, the collection of only C, A and B, A and C, and finally B and C. So we have the following eight events. It is not necessary to consider all possible events, which we have done in this example. Finally, we have a probability measure assigning a probability to each event. So each of these eight events must be assigned a probability, and these probabilities must satisfy the probability rules. So for the purpose of this example, let's just say that each outcome is equally likely, then the probabilities of each of these events are one for S, zero for the empty set, and then just one over three, one over three, one over three, two thirds for this event, as well as these two. So based on this, we can define a random variable. And the definition is pretty straightforward. A random variable is simply a function. It is a function whose domain is the sample space S. The most common codomain of a random variable is the collection of real numbers. If it is the case that the codomain is R, then we say that the random variable is a real valued random variable. If we are dealing with a real valued random variable, it's common to skip the name real valued. So if you just hear the word random variable, you may assume that it is a real valued random variable. So that means that we can create a nice illustration of a random variable. We have the domain and the domain is the sample space. So in my example, for example, it was the collection of A, B and C. The random variable is simply a function that maps these elements onto the real line. So here's a representation of the real line. This can of course be done in many ways. So I can define a random variable that maps say A to the number one, B to say the number two, and C to say the number three. Then I have defined a random variable. So here's my example again, my function called x, domain is s, codomain, real numbers. The domain consists of a, b, and c, and x maps a to 1, b to 2, c to 3. Then I have created a random variable. So the basic idea behind the random variable is a very simple one. We have an experiment that will lead to one outcome out of a collection of possible outcomes. These outcome may have nothing with numbers to do whatsoever. It could be a color, it could be a name, it could be any kind of symbol. By defining a random variable on this experiment, we simply translate outcome to numbers. In our particular example, the experiment will lead to either A, B, or C, but translated through the random variable, it will lead to either one, two, or three. So as you can see, there is nothing random about a random variable. A random variable is a completely deterministic 
function. The randomness takes place when nature picks an outcome from the sample space. It is also true that the random variable is not a variable, but a function. So weirdly enough, a random variable is neither random nor a variable. The reason it's called a random variable is simply that we can call the outcome of the random variable small x. So small x can take the value 1, 2, or 3. And in that sense, this is a random variable because it is a variable whose value we don't know until the experiment has been performed. The final point I want to make is that this is not the complete definition of a random variable. It is certainly true that the random variable is a function with domain S, but there is one additional condition that must be satisfied for a function to be a random variable. This extra condition requires a, just a little bit of measure theory and a concept called a sigma algebra, and we will save that for another lecture.